A new 21 and over club could be coming to this vacant space in downtown Nampa. I'm your Nampa neighborhood reporter, Keith Burrell, and just two blocks down is the Nampa Police Department, and they have concerns about parking, congestion, and emergency vehicle access. So I feel that we want to bring something fun and different, something that we haven't seen here, you know. That's what we're willing to do. You know? Jorge Perez and his wife Silvia Barrios have lived in Nampa for two years and have a decades-long experience running nightclubs in San Jose. So this isn't new to us. So we know exactly how to run a bar, you know. We know what kind of music to play. Eager to hear when the spot in Nampa will open, Jorge has bands from all across the world ready to visit. Well, I bring a few bands from uh, Tokyo and from uh, England to our other bar. And I've been texting with them. They're really happy that we're going to open something else. And they want to get out from California and bring their families. The couple have been offered a site in CUNA that is ready to have a nightclub move in, but they tell me they want to stay in Nampa and build from the ground up. At Tuesday's planning and zoning meeting, the Nampa Police Department recommended the permit be denied. A first for planning and zoning chair Ron Van Ocker. The department expressed concern over parking being inadequate for the type of venue, expecting club goers to use parking lots of other businesses that could lead to parking disputes. I contacted the police department about their experience with parking disputes, and they tell me that they deal with lots of residential and business parking disputes throughout Nampa. NPD also expressed concern over emergency vehicle access. The city's director of planning and zoning pointed out at the most recent planning and zoning meeting that that part of town is not required to have their own off-street parking, although the particular strip does have a few spaces. Now for what few parking spaces in front of the building they do have, they already have permission from the building owner to switch from this perpendicular parking to angled parking. That switch would make it easier to get in and out of with the flow of traffic. NPD also expressed concern over congestion on 1st Street South, a section frequently used by emergency vehicles that could delay response times. The warehouse is just one block from the city's parking structure. The fire department is also one block away in another direction and the police department one block further.